What if I told you that there is a project where the blockchain writes its own smart contracts, manages its own security, and powers over a dozen of real platforms? This project is different. So, hi everyone, welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, Blockchain Modi. As you know, this channel specializes in reviewing the newest and latest projects of cryptocurrency. In this video, we have something special, a new project called the Pain Chain. But before start, there's one of two things we need to get out of the way. Every video in this channel is an investment advice. We only try to shitless on some projects that seem to us as good projects worth talking about. So guys, take around to explore Pain Chain, its futures, and what these projects provide to his users. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed, and share with us your idea about today's project in the comments below this video. That was Modi from Blockchain Modi. See you guys after the intro. Thank you. Alright guys, today's video is about projects I've been exploring for the last couple of days. And honestly, this one surprised me. Not because it has a token or a fancy white paper, but it's building a whole Web3 world. And when I say world, I mean an actual ecosystem with its own AI-powered blockchain, real tools, real platform, cross-chain infrastructure, and even a financial card system. The name, as we mentioned it in the intro, is Pain Chain. And while reading it, I keep having that moment of wait. They built this too. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through a project as a creator the way I see it, not just technically, but from a real user perspective. So, the first time you land on their website, you immediately feel the scale most chunky example. One page, one future, one mission. The pain chain is the opposite. Everything is organized, structured, and surprisingly, easily to navigate despite how big this ecosystem is. You've got a dedicated sections like solutions, what sets us apart, mid the AI futures, platform, blockchain, utility, roadmap as well, and even a blog and an FAQ section. Honestly, that level of organization made the exploration feel smooth. It gave me the sense that the team wants new users to understand the Yacht system without feeling overwhelmed, which is rare in the web tree. And the more I clicked around, the more I realized it. This isn't just a project, it's a full digital environment. And once that realization hits me, the next thing I wanted to understand was the heart of this whole environment, the blockchain itself. So usually, when I review blockchain, they all blend together after a while. Same users, same promises, but the pain chain stands out because it's an AI native blockchain. Not AI on added on the top, but AI built directly into the chain. This blockchain can generate smart contracts from sample sentences, analyze codes in real time, self optimize contracts, road course chain transactions intelligently, and even help filter governance problems. As someone who works with a lot of projects, this was the part that really caught my attention. It feels like the chain has its own brain, not in chemically way but in the practical developer focused way. And the deeper I went, the more I realized that the blockchain wasn't the only clever part. The toolbar around is are just unimpressive. So this was honestly one of my favorite parts. A lot of chain says that integrate AI, but Pension delivers actual tools that you can use on day one. They have the pen prompt for generating NFTs, apps, and contracts, the chain vision for complete blockchain analysis, the pen speech, their AI voice in chain, the smart agent builder to create your own AI boots, the model hub to deploy models, auto label AI for data labeling, the pen product for AI generated market forecasts and the AI oracle in time that brings real world data directly into smart contracts. As a content creator, these tools aren't just developer toys. They give anyone a way to interact with the ecosystem, experiment, and an actual build things without a deep technical skills. And all these tools connected perfectly with the next big element of the painting, the ecosystem they built around them. This is where I realized how massive the project is. 
The pain chain isn't relying on a third party apps to create use cases. They are building their own platform, a streaming service, a travel portal, a creator network, cashback deals, a messenger, and the search engine, enterprise tools, and more. The ecosystem feels like a digital city. Instead of having 10 different apps from 10 different companies, everything is connected back to one core chain. This director creates a strong user flow and a much smoother experience. And when an ecosystem this big, the token becomes a major element. So let's talk about the painting token. The PC coin, a small supply, the high vitality. As you'll see, the PC coin runs the entire ecosystem, and the total supply is only 900,000, which is extremely low for a layer one blockchain. It's used for gas fees, AI tools, governance, token rewards, and an ecosystem transactions. It's setups like this. Low supply gives the token a premier feels and a limit long-term dilution. But what really attracts attention around the PC coin is the delegation system. So let's get into it. The delegation rewards model gives the 2% monthly reward for the 12 month. Then slowly, unlocks the tokens over 62 months. As someone who has seen many tokens models fail due to the fast unlocks, I actually appreciate this director. It encourages long-term holding instead of a high private flipping. The referral program also fits perfectly into the pain freedom network. It's structured, predictable, and a clearly designed for sustainable growth. And speaking of growth, this connects directly to the next pillar of the ecosystem, the pain freedom. The pain freedom, their global expansion in Thailand, which is is the community and the scaling in tight. It connects members, delegators, and partners into one global structure. They are planning to import over 1,200 projects, and even if a fraction of that comes to life, the traffic for the chain and the tools could be massive. And to understand how all this fits together, the roadmap gives a clear picture of where the pain chain is headed. So, the roadmap runs from the Q2 2025 into the 2026, covering everything from a testnet and the mainnet launches to an AI tools, mobile apps, enterprise solutions, and the cross chain bridges. And the full DL system, I appreciate a roadmap that actually realistic. Nothing rushed, nothing too good to be true. Just a steady build toward a full ecosystem. And the more I dug, the more I appreciated how transparent they are, especially through their explorer. The Pension Explorer is clean and shows everything, transactions, validators, notes, contracts, transparency is a must for any layer one that wants to be taken seriously. And the Pension does this well. And all of this finally brings me to the, my honest opinion as a creator, as an often yes about the cryptocurrency and the Web3. After going through the entire ecosystem, my honest opinion is that Pension is one of the most ambitious, but also one of the most structured blockchain ecosystem of your favorite in a long time. They are not trying to be a part of the Web3. They are trying to build an, the entire Web3 experience in one place. The combination of an AI native blockchain, a huge ecosystem, real tools, and a really realistic roadmap makes this project one of worth watching. If they deliver even a portion of the roadmap, the Pension could become a major AI plus a blockchain player in the next few years. So guys, if you want to explore the Pension and test the delegation rewards or the AI tools yourself, all the links are in the description. This is not a financial advice, just me sharing what I found existing. So guys, thanks for watching. That was Modi from Blockchain Modi. Don't forget always to like, subscribe if you are not subscribed, and why not to share with us your opinion or feedback about today's projects after watching this video. Thank you guys. Until the next video, see you.